Hello everybody, it's not Azu here, and today I'm running Moonlit Spot 8 Star Multi Solo. So first off on my team is going to be Mecha Fist Rin. It's just my basic setup here with the Blade of Lantern and then um, her costume tossed in there. Hachune bands are pretty nice because they're all humans. Does bonus damage to humans. Um, second is going to be Grim Saskia. Alright, and third is going to be regular Sif. Still wish I would have got the infected Sif, but I didn't. Didn't try. And fourth is going to be Magic Doctor Lumiere, and I'm using her as support and healing. A little bit of buffs there. And lastly is Eve Horn Raspy. And a bunch of earth weapons, and there we go. So let's get on with it. Moonlit Spa 8 Star Multi Solo. First up, we have the Lunar Princess Kaguya, who is in the Magic Row, is human and grounded. Her action skill, Moon's Darkness, does 150% dark magic attack damage and corrupt for 3 turns to the 3 nearest enemies. 150% dark magic attack damage and slow for 3 turns to the 3 farthest enemies. Faint for 3 turns to the 3 heroes with the highest magic attack. Ailments apply only to Aesir, Humans, and Elves. Her auto skill does... Dark magic attack damage five times and brand and corrupt for three turns to all enemies. Brand and corrupt applies only to Aesir, humans, and elves. On seven star, she has the chaos field, and on eight star, she has the high chaos field. And next up is going to be Kudoka Mizuki, who is in the range row, is human, and is grounded. Her action skill, Suirenka, does 230% water attack damage, and skill gauge 30% down to the enemy with the lowest water resistance. Also, skill gauge 20% up to the three allies with the highest accuracy. Her auto skill does water attack damage and slow for 3 turns to the nearest enemy. Slow effect applies to all races. On 7 star difficulty and higher, she does an extra skill gauge 10% down to all enemies. And lastly is going to be Ninja Momiji, who is in the ranged row, is human, and is grounded. Her action skill, which I'm not going to attempt to pronounce, does 30% dark attack damage, 8 times to the farthest enemy. Her auto skill does dark attack damage to the 3 enemies with the lowest dark resistance. On 7 star, she gives Kaguya a 5 hit barrier, and on 8 star, she gives Kaguya a 10 hit barrier. So on the harder difficulties, you're probably going to want to steer clear of using Aesir Humans and Elves due to the CC that they get from Kaguya. Um, the heaviest damage is going to go to your middle character, because they're going to get hit extra, because the targeting scheme is um, the nearest three and the farthest three, which overlaps on the middle one. So be um, kind of aware of that. Um, earth damage is your best bet here, and light damage second is how I would put it, because all the characters are um, weak to earth, but Mizuki isn't weak to light, so kind of use that how you have to with your gear that you have. And other than that, some other characters you can use are going to be like Dwarves, so Keeley, Poel, Hannah, um, any of those will work just fine. Um, you can also use King if you was around for the Seven Deadly Sins collab. Um, um, Burgomir makes a decent tank. Uh, I've seen people using Flora so far. Mm. 
Anger Boda doesn't work too bad. Of course, if you've got the new Squirrel Girl that just came out, definitely use her. And, um, and you can even use Miku, too, because she's Earth. So that actually works pretty well, being Therian and Earth. And that's basically about it. This fight is a rerun from last year, so it's not terribly difficult with the with the recent scaling that they've been doing so yeah that's going to be about it for this one And here is going to be the damage, and keep in mind that it's not going to show individual characters because it's multi-solo. So here we are, and thank you for watching, and have a good day.